Ooh, that doesn't look good. Oh, we just have to follow the footprints. Tracks left by the white wolf. Follow you might lead the way. Check nearby for more, of course. Oh yeah, we got we gotta go fishing in the bush. Is that a chest AC? <laughs> Last cocktail, an open potion from Thorley's bottle, uses to create a shockwave. Stunning enemies nearby. Excellent. So we got two of our four potions now. What did you fight? Oh, God. The world before Ceresa seemed to warp and bend. She blinked hard to no avail. Could this be a fairy trick? Cheshire was losing patience with his hesitant companion. Come on, we've still got that wolf to catch. Uh, I'm getting ready. Just give me a second. Ha! Oh, great. What is this? As soon as she took a step inside, she felt as if the breath had frozen in her chest. All around her were sights strange and terrible, as if she had been dragged into a waking nightmare. I... I'm fine. It takes more than this to scare me. How am I supposed to find my way in here? <gasps> the brooch! Suddenly. Sarissa's magic brace began to glow. What could it be? Okay. Dispelling illusions. The distortion created by fairies is full of illusions. Use your magic with ZL to dispel illusions and see through their deceptions. from the brace revealed things Ceresa was unable to see before. Does this brace have the power to dispel illusions?
I guess that's the only illusion we had. Upon close inspection, there appeared to be distortions, as if the air itself had cracked. So that's the way out. Equally confused, the girl and demon exchanged a glance. Yep. Like, what the hell are we doing? That wolf was just up ahead. Cheshire's indecision did not last long, but try as he might, he was unable to open the cracks any further. Try using magic to open it? Come on! We have no idea what's lurking on the other side. If you know the truth about what's going to be happening eventually, you Cheshire know this is hilarious. Snort at Cerisa's cowardice. I am not making excuses. Yes, you are. All right, fine. Okay, Cerisa. Just like you practiced. Did we just head to the space-time re reality warp that nothing ever exists anymore? Once their eyes had adjusted to the brilliant light, what lay before them was a sight unlike anything either had seen before. Hello. Okay. Ah, beautiful altar with chests over there and everything. Well, we got lots to explore up here. Cheshire, I have a feeling we're not in Avalon anymore. Nope. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Tiranog. Tiranog are the source of the fairy's illusions. They can be found spread throughout the forest. Find to destroy the core at the heart of the Tira Nanog. Press plus open the menu if you need a temporary retreat. We'll definitely save right now. We're still at 10%? Okay. No point I can throw you up there? Okay. Oh god, I didn't get the other half. You little minx. A bogey? Half our shard shooter called a bogey. That's cool. 
Cheshire can counter attacks as well. Press R with the right tower to have Cheshire counter the attacks. A maze hit with a counter attack will be temporarily stunned. Be warned, some counter attack, some attacks can't be countered. Crescent Cluster, an imbued crystal shape. The crystal would typically found in Inferno. It can restore some of the user's magic energy. a little too easy this might be an easy game in general so be our one out of two Must be another one I haven't seen yet. Oh, we got that one already. That got this treasure. Ah, there we go. I see you. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Follow the lever. Ah, uh, I'll go here. I'll get the treasure. Cool. <laughs> then we'll swap positions here. Sucks that you can't run in this game, but... At least they let you jump up rather high. Okay, this is not a good side. You know how most video games, when they give you, uh... Yes. 
What did we get? Vitality pedal, small safe jewel like a pedal, form of the best. Form for the very life essence of the forest, collecting several is said to increase your oh, okay. So this is how we get extra hearts. <laughs> so we need five of those for another life. Alright. We're almost at boss time. Okay, that scared me for a second. Boy, Chesh. Let's get rid of these illusions. Bye bye, fairies. Bye bye, fairies. Bye bye. Uh oh. Who are you? And why do you scare me? You're the boy from my dream. I'm glad you said that the boy of my dreams. Forest. Waiting. Center forest waiting, okay. Help me. I just need to follow the white wolf, right? There you go. Destroy all elemental cores. We're once again doing cores. At least she learned them early. Chapter three, the first elemental core. They had returned from the strange world. The forest was just as they had left it, except not quite. Nope. It seemed that destroying the device at the core of that rift somehow disrupted the illusion, revealing the true path forward. Ah, so now we have a map of where we gotta go. Tyranny, complete work of the guy they vanished to a hill. Yeah, it seems there are other Tyranog in this region. Looks like it. And the white wolf says go that way. They spotted the white wolf. Without a moment's hesitation, the pair gave chase. I wouldn't say that. Okay, suffice it to say I can't go that way yet. And this is the way I came from. Okay, so there's no...
There we go. Control's a little off there. I always like to get rid of those roots just in case there's something there. Oh my, another house. Okay, I like this. There's shelter. Remembrance. A small glade of otherworldly beauty opened before Ceresa. This dark forest held secrets yet. Ceresa relaxed ever so slightly. <laughs> Sorry about that, chat. We are going to have to find a way down there. Eventually. I like chess. Chess are good. Ooh, an umbered syrup. Umber potion case instead of butterfly bottle grants temporary visibility and increased speed casting umbered arts. So basically, we're getting everything now. Oh, so we're only allowed to use two at a time? The air tastes fantastic. I should be able to relax here. All right. Let's save first. Fifteen percent already tonight. Oh, so we get to do time trials now too if we want. Nice. I don't think we have enough to concoct anything. Yeah, we're we're still light on materia, so we can't do a whole lot yet. Journals. Someone left journal entries scattered. Pick up any you find with L to read them for the archive. Would. It wouldn't be a bad edit game without it. You're forbidden to enter that forest. Yeah, yeah, I know. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Besides, I'm already inside anyway, so don't turn me back now. I'm going to do what I came here for. Suppose I may have rushed into things a little bit too quickly. Probably would have brought some more food, a few more essentials, but start getting out on myself any already anyway. From a long line of powerful witches, I'll be okay. I need to have more confidence myself. First thing I realized is start exploring the forest is the importance of a place I can set up for base and recuperate. You never know what we'll be waiting for around the corner here, so I need to stay well rested and alert. Fortunately, there's plenty of wood around to build with. It's even this weird red metal too. But if I put a little time into it, I should be able to make a simple camping spot to hold me over for a while. Oh, and I should probably find a cauldron for concocting too. Oh, so basically journals are found throughout the forest. All right. They want me to go that way.
cool, so it's a time trial. Okay, I like those. Come back here. See what we got as a gift. Cool. Ooh. A demonic mist, umber perfume, and a crescent moon bottle. Use it to temporarily give chest child unlimited magic ability to perform skills. Excellent. Uh, it's just easier if I bring them with me like that. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Come here. I see you there. I see another chest here. What's the star? Ah, map! And our object is just up there, okay. Oh, that's where we can go, okay. So basically we can go over every area and see what we need to do in each area. There's something further down there, isn't there? Oh, great! Mini boss! guys stupid fairies pain in my backside
Yeah, okay, I see you. Uh oh. Now these guys have shields too? You're a little idiot. Leprechaun! Oh god. We beat the boss already. I like that. Always going to catch up all these. That looks like a rubber spring to me. <laughs> Guiding light, if lost, look for guide lights. Teresa will lead. They will lead her to a nearby sanctuary. Oh, never mind. Cheshire patronized Ceresa. Let's go. There's probably a secret I missed either way, but you know what? I'd rather just get through here and tackle off these lovely creatures inside. Calamity. Oh, I remember you. Sixteen percent, so So everything's a puzzle now.
finally. That was a little bit more confusing than it should have been for me. I'll just fill that back up, thank you. What's my gift? What's my gift? What's my gift? Yes. Another piece of my heart now, baby. Take it. Take it down the little piece of my heart. I know you will. Now make it. Make it another piece of my heart now, baby. Two down. I can see how they set these up for time trials rather easily. I do like the psychedelic colors though, I say that. Turnaround complete. Go ahead and leave you nook. An ominous fog has been lifted. Points of interest are now marked. Very nice. Very nice. A little bit of invincibility for a while, never hurt anyone. I see blue over there. take it actually I see a lot of blue all over the place gotta get back and find those white wolf steps oh they're all over the place never mind another saving point in a nearby grove there was a place illuminated by moonlight Yes. As she approached, the magic brace in Ceresa's wrist began to glow. Uh oh. So I finally found you, Ceresa. No oh god. Morgana? Teacher found me, damn it! Ceresa blinked in disbelief as the ghostly figure of her teacher appeared from within the moonlight. Thank goodness you're safe. When I realized you'd gone to the forest, I was beside myself with worry. But really, Ceresa, don't get to the forest despite all my warnings. You even made off with my magic brace. Just what were you thinking? I was Although thinking I gotta save my mother. Objection of Morgana, her scolding somehow managed to be even more intimidating than the genuine article. Ceresa could only hang her head. Aww. 
I am looking forward to a thorough explanation once you're home safe. But I'm afraid escaping Avalon Forest will not be easy. No, it won't, and I'll plan on it. Morgana's expression was grave. She explained how the fairy's magic turned the forest into a labyrinthine trap. One in which Ceresa was currently ensnared. We duh. This ancient enchantment was so strong, even Morgana herself could not easily break it. For now, all I can do is support you from afar. I will begin researching ways out of the forest. You just find a safe place and try to stay alive until I find a way to save you. Eh. I'll save Hello, myself, Morgana. thank you. Look, I was able to summon a demon of my very own. Is that... You summoned a demon into your stuffed toy? Sarisa... Well, it will have to do. If you are able to wield that demon, your chances of survival will increase greatly. Yes, it has. Thank you. This forest belongs to the fairies. However, if you search carefully, I am sure you will find objects that will help you develop your magic abilities. <laughs> what about these sparkly things? I've picked up a bunch of them since I've got here. Yes. A crystalline structure is a stable source of magical energy. If you feed it to the demon, it may awaken some new powers. Interesting. The light of the moon began to wane. With it, Morgana's visage grew faint. It was as if the forest itself conspired to impede their plans. Well, of course! Teresa, listen well. Demons are weapons which we witches wield, not friends to be cuddled. Remember to treat them as such. No! The remaining moonlight faded, and Morgana disappeared. No way, Cheshire is different. Cheshire was in a foul mood. What was that? Morgana is my master, and I will not have you speak <laughs> of him that way. I believe the exact words were. I feel bad for worrying her, but. I don't get why she's so overprotective. I mean, I summoned a demon and everything. Because so you could so die! Just once, Morgana would tell her she did a good job. She had already forgotten Morgana's scolding. Nice. Well, back to chasing the white wolf. If we get that power, even Miss High and Mighty Morgana will sing our praises. You think? Those sparkly things. She said they might help you grow stronger. I wonder what that means. What is this? In one corner was a rock polished to a shiny finish. This would make a good substitute for the mirror she used when training. Hey! Without Morgana breathing down my neck, I might be able to get in some good practice. All right. A try. Here's Sir. Oh, okay, so we got our skill tree that I don't really care about. Cheshire skills are to the right. Cheshire learned skills using the Avalon drops. Move this cursor to a skill you'd like to learn. I don't have much of a choice. Awesome. She uses the Onyx Roses. All right. Try out lots of different skills.
Well, I got sword bind already. Multi bind. I don't have the, uh... Ah, I need the special pedal, okay. So we can either increase magic quicker, quick recast. I can press the button down to evade. Okay, that's the eventual one there. Okay, I can use this. Maybe like this. <laughs> and we still got 500 left, so Quick recast slightly increases the speed at which spell cooldown gauge recovers. I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, let's do this just in case. We'll get this tree filled up eventually here. So I got... Oh, if I'm going to hit somebody with this... Yeah, hell yeah. Cheshire, here you go. I want more than just grab. I want punch. Thank you. Then I can do this for two... Do I want to learn a dodge or do I want to learn to uh, get some extra stuff? I'm going to learn how to dodge. So yeah, I'm just shy of everything else I need right now to fish the tree off. Unless... Oh yeah, let's... Health up, automatic. Let's do that. We'll load everything else up when we're on our next... After our next run here. There we go. Save. Oh, I'm exhausted. With everything all lit up like that, I think we gotta be at least 20-25%. I would say 20%. 17. So we basically didn't do any okay. Actually, that makes a lot of sense too. Missed most of the stream. Eh, you know, we're probably gonna go for another 45 minutes yet, so. Good to see you here, Super Dave. I am having fun with this, I will say that. By the way, good to see you here today. More of a puzzle series? Sort of. It... The one thing I find unique about this that's a lot of fun is it's actually a, it's a perfect two Joy-Con game. Let's see here. It's mentioned my last entry. Most of the plant life for a spectacular size. Come across a uh, stunted growth. I kept a close eye on the last few days. Despite a nutrient-rich soil here, there might be some sustenance they are not receiving. I'm currently entertaining a theory that an alien species has yet to fully assimilate in Avalon's environment. Oh, 
I wish I could just ask it myself, but alas, I do not speak the language of plants. This past two days, I found some curious specimens scattered around the floor, glimmering crimson dark petals and some Swedish candy. As for the petals, they're not from anything I recognize, but suspect he's say from an onyx rose, an otherworldly flower that prize fairies. We just happened to rumor to live at Avalon. If so, perhaps the candy is some snack of theirs. I can only hope these uh, findings may eventually lead to a fairy. So it's not so, like I said, it's not so much a puzzle game yet. There are some puzzles here, don't get me wrong. Right now we're on the trail of a white wolf that's leading us through this uh, crazy world of uh, of magic and mysticism here. And the unique thing I love about this game that's different than anything else when you're separated you actually use you use your left stick to cover sorry let me get this out You use your left stick to cover Cereza and your right stick to cover Cheshire. See what I mean? You got the right. Oh, I know what I got to do. Never mind. There we go. Be a little dumb dumb once in a while, but are these things here? Like this is the biggest puzzle you have right now. They give you little uh rhythm based puzzles here to uh that Cereza has to do to earn basically the equivalent to XP on everything. Did the fairies do this as well? Maybe. <laughs> like none of the puzzles are really overly crazy here, but so we are finding new areas as we go along here. There's three areas there. We got the one area there. We got one or two there. Basically our objective is to take care of these little areas called Tyranogs. And there's little puzzles to get up to areas like that.
And they're all timing puzzles too, right? So... Oh, goody. It's the white... So yeah, the, uh, the big part is like this can actually, I could find that this could actually be a lot more fun with one Joy-Con or with two Joy-Cons. What in the hell is up there? I know this is spring loaded, so Cheshire, over here. I'm going to have to figure that out later. Actually, let me try this differently here. Let go. Hip, you go up here. Nope, that won't work. I don't have the abilities yet to uh, physically attack myself, so. I'm just a kid. Come here. Anytime there's anything flashing red like that, get on it. Grass is wet and all slippery. Ugh. That's the path I have to go. Screw you, goodbye. I absolutely love the art style. The voice acting works really well as well for me. But I, it, it's taken me about 20% of the game, but I'm starting to figure out the controls on all this.
All right, this is another one of those Terra Nogs. Okay, we're gonna have to go up this way to get through it. Oh, that's their shortcut for after. Okay, that makes sense. The art's great. The set, like everything about it's pretty awesome. Oh God. So what are we calling him? Stern Defender, Spriggan. Like the bot, the fights aren't that overly stupid, but you just gotta be smart about it so you don't get killed. <laughs> it always looked through everything. Like, you need these extra little potions and such to, uh... To do certain things. And we're in the weird world. And here is the Tanog. Let's go see how we can, uh... So yeah, the one cool thing about this game, but I think, you know, eventually I might try this. Might actually try it off stream with like, but you could actually run this game with two Joy-Cons. Your left Joy-Con will be, uh, related to rotation. Yeah. Your left Joy-Con is for Cereza, your right Joy-Con would be for Cheshire. And it very rarely uses the buttons, it's pretty much... Yeah, Joy-Con per character, that's exactly it. I have two of those. I have two of those. I want to get another one of these. So then they just... So after it's done, they just make you use the left stick to... Little warrior wear uh, work there. So you do, I do have enough to get everything still, but nope. I could get another Umbrian syrup, but I don't really need it right now. One more save just cause I got the new stuff. Reminds me a lot of what we had to do with Bayonetta cause after you combine, the only difference is in Bayonetta, you actually had to do your, uh, figure out your own ingredients and then make your concoction here they just give it to you oh god pixie ah oh, you stupid little things
Timing's a little off. Get down here, get up here. Once again for the resub, I do appreciate it. This game is so ultra cute. Eyes open on the back of your head for this game. One last blast. How you doing tonight, Tess? <laughs> yeah, we we actually, if you go to our YouTube page, Ophelia, we got. Sorry, I just missed the. Uh, if you look on our YouTube page, we actually have uh, the run-throughs of Bayonetta's one and three on there, including my nine-hour power run to finish off the uh, third one. Haven't been able to get to Bayonetta 2. And this is usually our Halloween game. Because due to medical instances, I can't really do overly scary games, so... Okay, so this one said rotation. There's always something about these that... That makes sense. That's where the rotation part comes in. That makes sense. Okay, I see. This is where your controls can really screw you up here. Excellent. More goodies, more fun. Yeah, and this is where those puzzles kick in. Yeah, you were talking about this Super Dave, it makes total sense.
Almost got the perfect run there. I love how it has the uh, sound at the end there. It's like. Try to get through there. I guess he can't really get hit, so... Okay, so I can come back down and get that chest. Too late- <laughs> too late at night for my little brain on this. I gotta use that potion when <laughs> Don't want to go for the bonuses She let you know what? I'm not gonna fight for that chest right now. It's not a big deal. One chest I missed, but it's not going to be the end of the world for me here. <laughs> flying enemies. Some flying enemies are very weak and can be defeated by a thorn bind. No, you're not killing me quite yet.
No! I wasn't keeping track of that. That's bad. That's horrible. Okay, now. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. I'm just an idiot. Oh, so it gives me for the autosave. That's perfect. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Yes, there we go. <laughs> so we got three fifths of a hot now, baby. Take it, take another little piece of a hot. I know you will. So this is the freaky part. You got to try to control two at one here. Oh, we're done. That was the challenge. That's awesome. We just did it. And we only had one death so far, so that's pretty damn amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, the puzzles aren't overly difficult in this game. I had to figure out which side I was going with. There we go. All right, we have leveled up again by bet. Guess we got enough for level up. Turn and I'll complete. Sun Speckle Groove. All right, so there's a journal right behind us. We're going to hit our next save point here and we're going to wrap her up here for tonight. Excellent. Let's pick up the journal. What do they got to say? In Avalon, no matter what, where you go, fairies are running the show. The creepy pockets of fog here and their 
seem to be their work too. I think being in it makes them stronger too. Be because I tried giving one good wallop with a stick and when I was in there, they didn't even flinch. That doesn't mean they got the best of me though. Hey, I'm a number witch after all. I used my magic to shine some light and the fairies seemed to be scared and ran off. To be honest, it was dark and I was just trying to light up a path to see where I was going. But all's well that ends well. Now I know their weakness. I think I figured out how the fog works as well. Inside, I found a spot that looked like a big crack in the air itself. The fog was pouring out of that crack and no mistake. I'm sure if you checked out what's beyond the crack, you'll find what's causing the fog in the first place. Not that I'm about to test that theory, but I'm not that brave. Well, let's go back and get this, uh... Oh God, thank you. I will take that. Basically every potion and extras. I'm assuming they're heading us towards a camp here. There it is. All right, so let's save this up here. Let's take a break. And we'll do some loading up on uh loading up on skills and whatnot next time when we get first thing we do when we get here next week.